Welcome, my brothers and sisters. Thank you again for joining me in this journey. Today, I'm going to give you a positive message. I'm going to give one of these positive messages on my channel every week from now on. Last week was the giveaway announcement. Yesterday, I had a serious talk on my channel about Native American heritage and reading out of this book I have. The week before that, I talked about sending money to other countries and funding wars. So there's going to be one positive message and one serious topic on my channel every week from now on. The positive message that I wanted to talk about today was a poem that Tupac Shakur made. You may know Tupac as one of the famous rappers from the 90s, maybe one of your favorite rappers, but he's a lot more than just a rapper. He was a poet and he was a master with his words. He made a collection of poems between 1989 and 1991 and they were released after his death in 1999 in a book called The Rose That Grew From Concrete. When I was in high school, I was checking out this book a lot and I found one poem. I would say the poem that inspired most, most of the book and the title of the book. And I read it in front of my class in sophomore year. I want to read the poem to you guys today. Did you hear about the rose that grew from a crack in the concrete? Proving nature's law is wrong. It learned to walk without having feet. Funny it seems, but by keeping its dreams, it learned to breathe fresh air. Long live the rose that grew from concrete when no one ever cared. You see, that's a powerful poem right there. It's about resilience. It's about not giving up. It's about not letting your environment and the conditions around you hold you back from your true potential. I see so many people out in life that seem like they could be a rose or just a seed of a beautiful flower if they one day blossom. But a lot of times the conditions of the environment is what is holding them back. Tupac Shakur talked a lot about this and in his poem, which I'll have linked down below, you could check out more of his poems too. A lot of these rappers, they're not just rappers, they have powerful meanings behind their words. And the farther back you go in rap history and music history, the words are usually more and more powerful and the message is more and more in your face. Thank you all for tuning in and I hope you all have a great day.